Hello, this is Dr. Lorenz here and Lorenz Essen here uh, from Longevity Health Institute. And I'm coming to you from our Bingham Farms office here on Telegraph in Southeastern Michigan. Um, Lauren is a nurse practitioner with us, been for several years, and uh, she is a uh, excellent, excellent provider. In fact, don't I lean into you a lot? <laughs> Just say it. I do. I sent her an EKG I yesterday. <laughs> Just I, I'm from the other office. I was in Rochester and I said, hey, what do you think about this? So that's how much pride and value I have in my practitioners. But anyway, Lauren and I just, we were uh, in the office today in Bingham Farms today seeing uh, uh, people and new patients and, and follow-up patients and all that. And uh, um, I thought I'd ask you, you know, hey, what what's some things you're seeing and like to see? And, uh, you know, what's what's been going on lately in the practice here? Yeah, so some really interesting things I've been seeing a lot of lately is post-COVID. So people who are coming to us with some long haul COVID symptoms, we see a lot of autoimmune disease, which I really enjoy working on, treating underlying root causes, and a lot of hormone imbalances. That's something that oh, yeah. you know is yeah. sort of bread and butter for us, and whether it's younger or older, really all ages benefit from yeah. that. Oh yeah, epidemically. Oh yeah. yeah epi <laughs> sad sadly. Yeah. But and you know I had a new patient today that I had to go through the details of explaining in our you know, our systems approach and building your, your yes. foundation of health that we can't ignore hormones, any hormone, not just sex hormones, but, yeah. but we see so much early hormone decline due to stress and diets in the world. And, you know, I, theoretically I have no, no scientific yet evidence. Um, I'm sure it's going to come out, but even like COVID and spike protein yeah. stuff from COVID that has probably done some endocrine damage. Um, and, uh, this is why actually I'm sure you've heard, but you know, women get you know, disrupted menstrual cycles. But unfortunately, we still see a lot of, you know, COVID, post-COVID stuff mm -hmm. and, 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 and issues. But uh, what, what else in the, the, the uh, practice do you like to see? And I know what you're really good at. Yeah. But what do you like to well, see? Well, I also love treating chronic disease, um, whether it's diabetes or heart disease, preventing these and just optimizing health, or if you have the early or late stages of these diseases. I love to treat that because they're so they react so well to lifestyle changes and there's so many effective treatments that we have yeah. that we get amazing results and people feel like they're 20 years younger again, which is yeah. really oh, yeah. amazing. Um, and actually today I saw someone who was really struggling, came in, she was extremely fatigued, focus problems, um, joint pain, early signs of autoimmune disease, and we redid her diet, we're working on hormones, adrenal function, and she is, completely better and said she feels back to how she used to so it's really exciting it was yeah how i ended oh, my yeah. day today so oh, yeah yeah great way to go home it was a good way to go home yeah. great way to see her new bean sprout she has a yes. little sprout at home that's uh how many months seven months seven months yeah so she left us for a little bit <laughs> so if you see lauren it's be she had a little bean sprout here yes. the last few months ago but um but yeah, so what a great way to end your day because how rewarding, you know? I mean, that's the thing is why exactly. why we're passionate and why we love to do what we do is, and my practitioners, we feel like we have such a great team here because when we come from passion and come from love to really help you, um, to help you really get right on the back track, you know, yeah. and get, get, get things, you know, um, you know, back on track, you know, excuse me, so that you're, you know, you're living fuller, you're thriving, you know what I mean? And, and you're, you're getting, you know, prosperity and things that you need, especially in the way our world is, Unfortunately, with stress and anxiety, it's not and, set up and, for and us to it, feel good. It isn't. It really isn't. So, so we need to build that foundation and be aware of that. You know, um, I know also you see a lot, and you um, she shared with me before you like infertility and actually, yes. you know, you know, helping women conceive, but also looking at it from that big picture. Absolutely. Um, this is something I've been seeing a lot of lately, and. There are so many different approaches when we're looking at, you know, fertility and hormone imbalances. And when you're trying to conceive, we can't just look at the hormones or medicines. We have to look at your gut and we have to think about infections and your stress levels. And there's so many things that impact your fertility. So we look at all of those together and it's to me, few things are more rewarding than oh, someone yeah. Yeah, conceiving when you're working with them. So that's definitely one of my yeah. favorite yeah. things yeah. to do. And, it, and it's, it is really rewarding and exciting. And I'll tell you something though, that makes me feel really old, but <laughs> there's a few patients we have here. <laughs> they, it, it does date me here, sorry, uh, you know, whatever. I don't know why I'm saying sorry. I should say sorry to myself, but is that uh, the children that we help them with oh. and that, you know, <laughs> yeah. are like six, seven, eight years old now. And they come in and I'm like, whoa, 
you know, time flies. So you realize like, uh oh, <laughs> so, but all goodness, all goodness. And that's, that's so rewarding. Um, something I'll tell you what that I, I love because I, I, you know, even when I'm off, I was off last week. I love to read and, you know, investigate stuff and, you know, tease through literature and all that. And uh, gosh, there was something I came across and some literature I came across. And I may have a separate video, by the way, on this about treating, um, you know, COVID and actually treating uh, COVID and post COVID essentially like oxidative stress and, and, and what's causing all the damage and disease. Mm -hmm. um, you know, by the way, we treat 99% of things here in the practice that have nothing to do with COVID. But the problem is it is a new thing and people are coming in yeah. with immune dysfunction and issues. So it's very, very real. We were, we were just talking yeah. about that earlier today. Um, but there is a therapy actually that's an infrared therapy, a near infrared therapy that in wow. science, peer reviewed journals, literature, um, you know, small studies, but studies that have great P values and P values in studies means that actually scientists and PhDs and journals that are highly respected, um, you know, rate that, that study very, very high. So that means it's a very quality study. Um, and that near infrared therapy, a light therapy, and a radiation therapy is reversing COVID, even helping COVID pneumonia, getting people out of the hospital earlier. Um, four and days earlier. Four days amazing. earlier. Yeah. Amazing, you know. And you know, let me tell you, you save a day in the hospital, you're you're saving days, if not months and years, of disease and, and risks, you know. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so really exciting stuff. Again, I'm gonna have a separate video on near infrared and the benefits from infectious and immunity and all that. Um, so I don't want to spend too much time with that, but it's really important. And some of the things that we do here are so important in building your immunity. So of course we focus on why you come in, but we want to always make sure that we are being preventative. And, yep. and, and that's, you know, one of the biggest yeah. things we do. You know, I, um, a, a, an article here and I just will show you, it's right here. You're going to read it yourself right there. Um, this is just a review journal, a family practice review journal, but this is actually a publication um, that was, again, a peer-reviewed journal in Nature, came out in November about how repeated COVID infections, okay, are causing a doubling of your mortality um, within six months. And that is in a study of 4.5 million people, okay, that were surveyed through the Veterans uh, uh, Affairs um, uh, study. And of all of those, they actually showed a doubling, whether you're vaccinated, unvaccinated, or boosted. Mm -hmm that your, your mortality doubled once you've had COVID more than, more than once. And I think the story here isn't to live in fear, but no. it's what COVID and the vaccines and COVID are doing to us and what they're doing to our vasculature and our immune system and that, and how we need to address our immunity yeah. and, and, you know, potentially reverse some of the stuff. So there's, you know, there's, we're not seeing such an impact of this in our, in our world because it's yeah. happening not just here in our clinic, but there's studies big time all over the world. Yeah. I mean, there's so many um, effects that the COVID affects our vascular system so dramatically. And that's something we actually really address a lot. So that's, I, I feel is making a big difference for people post COVID. Well, it's an it's asymptomatic. Like people don't feel anything. They don't realize They don't it's feel good, but they don't feel, you know. That's you a know, scary thing. You know, yeah. Unfortunately, people don't go, hey, uh, yeah, listen, my, I think I have a blood clot. Right. I mean, it'd be nice if they did that, you know, it'd make it our job really easy, right? right? You know, but they don't do that and they come in and asymptomatic and they kind of just have some, you know, just don't feel great. Right. And what we're knowing now, and, you know, unfortunately time tells everything, science and time and, you know, journals and, you know, uh, scientists discover this stuff and find out what it's doing to our vascular and our cellular system and our immune system. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's really, really, really scary but we can intervene to build and rebuild your immunity. And I think that's the key part. The biggest thing I always see, I don't, I don't know your experience with this personally, but the biggest thing I always see is bad guts and bad adrenal, meaning stress function. Mm -hmm. And it sets you up so bad for, for you know, oh, yeah. anything, for illness and sickness. Oh and, yeah, for know. really high, high stress, you know, like you said, adrenals, just running on fumes type mm -hmm. of thing. and not living a healthy lifestyle, which yeah. is hard. And it's, it can, yeah, yeah set hard. us up for yeah. worse COVID or long COVID. Yep, for sure, for sure. And it sadly, it becomes the norm. Yeah. I have so many people that it's like, they think that's normal because, you know, they sleep four hours or they're always right. on the go or 
whatever, and I say, you know, how often do you just sit in, in stillness or in peace? And it's funny, I had somebody today, we talked about that, and they yeah. literally, they're like, uh, never. <laughs> pretty much never. Yeah. And they're like, when I'm in my car, and I'm like, well, you're on your phone, and you're actually driving, you're doing something, so that's not what I meant. But the whole point is we don't know how to disengage at times, and and I think that that's a big, 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 big part. But Yeah, you know. I used to teach mindfulness meditation. You did, yeah, and yeah. That Where and I stole her from, yeah. she was... That's what you were. Yeah. I mean, you were yeah. the lifestyle coach and all that yeah. stuff. And yeah, yeah. Did so it. I always incorporate that in working with people when it's needed. And it's amazing how healing some of those modalities can be too. For sure. So, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, looking at the whole, looking at the whole person system, and the whole nervous right. system. And yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so the, again, this is Laura Zessen, an amazing nurse practitioner that I stole, you know, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> now, she's a beautiful little baby. And still willing to come to work and suffer with us. No, joking there. You. But but <laughs> uh, but no. Thank you for you know all the stuff you do and helping people. And you know we we have you have been on our team is awesome. We just love you. Missed you for those three months. By the I way, did too. big time, big time. So um, but anyway, Lauren's available anytime. Just like myself, you know, reach out to us if you need help with any of your health or functionalities or wellness or preventative or or literally anything. We're going to give you a different philosophy and a different perspective at looking at root causes, personalized medicine um, to make you thrive, make you get well and, and solve goals, live with intention and wellness, but really get back to thriving. Yep. So thank you. Thank you for creating right. this space for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you guys be well. This is Dr. Lorenz, Longevity Health Institute. Bye.